Just talking about your summer. Well, <clears throat> this summer, I think, um, me and myself, I think I've done pretty good. You know, there's always room for improvement. And um, us as a team, as a defense, I think I think we did great. But, you know, like I said, there's always room for improvement. How different is it now being the, one of the veteran guys, one of the older guys? I mean, how different is that for you in that role? Uh, there, there. It's just seems so, so weird and funny. Cause like you know, I came, I came in with a lot of guys, and last season it was, it was six of us, and five of them left, and I was the only one that played. But uh, you know, you got to step up and do, take your role, and do what you got to do. Being more vocal is that something that you try? You having to work on that, or is that something that kind of comes natural to you? For me, like I'm not, I'm not a big talkative person, so yeah, I would say that's something that I would have to work on. When you see these freshmen come in here, you kind of say, "I remember when I was him." Oh yeah, I do that a lot, especially especially in the line room, you know, like, cause you know, uh, coming from high school, guys ain't used to getting, you know, fussed at, and you know, it's different coaching in high school, cause you know, like, if we ain't playing good, then you know, the coaches, you know, they probably get fired, so you know, they take it real serious. And, um, you know, like, how Coach G, how Coach G coach, it ain't too many people that can handle it like that. So, you know, I, I, I've i been there. I've been there. I did it for two years, and, you know, I, I can help them. How much better does it make you guys when Carl Lawson's out there? Uh, I think I think it helps us a lot because, you know, last year um, we, we needed some pass rush, and, and we didn't have that. And, you know, like, you know, having having everybody back, everybody pretty healthy, and um, you know, he's gonna force people to free free up somebody, and you know, it, it's gonna help. You seen Byron Cowart's Chucky doll yet? And what do you what do you think of that? Thing? I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing about that. I ain't. Seen nothing. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it is it strange to see a freshman come in that big though, his size? And... Um, I I think like that's how they're supposed to look. You know. <laughs> I think that's how everybody's supposed to look when you come in. But yeah, he he pretty big, you know, to be to be young. Montrevis, do you feel like you're on the verge of, of having like a breakout season? Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna let the season tell you the answer. You talking about dealing with Coach Garner's coaching style? How long did it take you to to be able to be comfortable with doing that? My opinion, I don't think I don't think you'll never be comfortable, you know, because he always gonna coach you hard. So like, if you if you comfortable, that means he ain't doing his job. So as long as we ain't comfortable, he doing his job. Have you learned to understand it more as you gotten older? I have though. I, I learned to um, you know take that coaching because I know I ain't come from no place like this that coach like that. So uh, I learned to take his coaching. And it's it's a lot easier. It helps slow down the game. And it just helps overall. Does he ever make you angry? <laughs> Coach, you makes everybody angry. <laughs> but you know, I know, I know he's just doing it, you know, to help us and make us the best that we can be. So you know, I have to take it in a positive way. My dreams, we heard so much about this, all this talent that Devereaux has. We've heard the one thing he, he's got to try to push through this mental wall. I mean, is that something that you try out to practice and kind of constantly, kind of stay on him? Well, I think, I think, I think he about to do it now. Um, Today was pretty hot. Everybody had a little struggle, but um, I've been talking to him. You know, like I, I just feel like I feel like he kind of passed that. I feel like he, you know, use that talent and do what he capable of doing. And what is that? How much talent does he have? Um, enough to be one of the best defense linemen on the team. You guys impressed as a group with how well Carl was moving, and do you feel like he's freed up and not thinking about the knee anymore? I think he has because, um, you know, I mean, that's that's a hard injury to come back from. And when I was hearing from the trainers and going to check on him, I mean, he was coming back he was coming back faster than he's supposed to. And, you know, like, now that he's back, you know, everybody happy, you know. Because, like I said last year, we, we were missing that, we were missing that uh, pass rush edge. Now, Zolan said that you guys didn't need a lot of reminders in the weight room and all that from last year and how it ended. Is the eight five is motivation enough? Is that is that true? Does does last season kind of motivate y'all to be better? Uh, it really does, and you know our last game was a loss, and um, so that 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 helps more too, and uh, 
I mean, Auburn, like, defensive wise, we, since I've been here, like, we just, like, we've been the underdog, underdog and growing up, like, Auburn was really, really based on defense. So, like, the defense has their own edge, like, not speaking for the team, but we have our own edge and we want to be proved, prove people that we, like, one of the best in the nation. We want more. Having Coach Muschamp here, does he, does he help to kind of solidify that edge for you guys? I think he does. You know, like, you know, when he was here, they was considered like one of the top defense in the nation and one of the top in the SEC. So, and when he was at Florida, so now that he's back, you know, it's just a, a different environment. He changed the vibe and players been, players been taking it and looking up to him and I think we're going to be really good.